what I'd like to do is show you how to use Clean Zapsify. So if you have not installed Clean Zapsify already, here's a quick way to do it. When you open up Chrome, you're going to click on your options over here, the three dots. You're going to go down to More Tools. You're going to choose Extensions. Just like we did with the Pinterest one, you're going to need to go over to the Chrome Web Store. So that's this menu right here with the three lines on the left. So I open Chrome Web Store. And what's going to do is start to type in Clean will do is it will have an option to add to Chrome. Mine is already installed, so that's why it will say waiting. You'll add that extension. What will then end up happening is once you have that loaded, this box, or sorry, this icon right here will show up. So let me show you a couple of the basics of the uh, Clean Zapify software. So when you're ready to do a clean tap, what this is going to do is you're going to choose desktop. And then you're going to need to make sure that you have a microphone set up. If you have issues recording, you can use your phone, and I'll show you a different program in class. So with this, it's going to give you a five-minute limit. So for this assignment, what you're doing is you are going to screencast. Oh, this is the wrong one. Uh, you are going to screencast your Pinterest board. You're going to do a three- to five-minute presentation where you're going to open up each one of these. You're going to open up visual identity. And then in your own words, briefly describe what is visual identity. So visual identity for this is the company's brand. It's their logo. It's their color. It's their sense of trying to communicate who they are. And then you'll open up your first one and briefly explain why did you pick this one? What was it about it? And be specific. And then go back. And do the same thing with your second one. If you did three, go ahead and do your third one as well. Just keep an eye on your time. Then, after you've done it for one, you'll repeat that same process for each of the categories. So, it's explain in your own words what is marketing and advertising. And then, go in and show the two or three that you have. And briefly explain why did you pick those? What is it about those that interested you? And that's what you'll do for the screencast assignment. Now, to use the Screencastify software, once this is set up, you're going to do something like this. You're going to choose record. And you get to choose, do you want to record the entire screen or do you want to choose just the window? I usually choose just the application window unless I need to go to my desktop and show other things off. So if everything is going to happen on the Chrome browser, you can choose application window only and then you click on it. If for whatever reason you want to record everything on the web, the desktop as well, you would choose that one and click on it. So once you've done this and you've clicked share, it'll give you a countdown. And now I'm recording live. So as I work through this, I'll be able to click, I'll be able to do everything. And then once I'm done, I can either click stop sharing down here at the bottom or I can actually click on this icon again, and what will happen is it will bring up the start or stop, and I'm going to go ahead and choose stop. And this will bring you to the Screencast website, and this is where you're going to be able to set it up so that you can have it saved directly to your Google Drive. It's probably one of the easier ones to do. You can name it. So I'm just going to call this Pinterest types of design. And if you want to edit this, if you want to clip anything, there's an editor. And I'll show you resources that Screencastify has put together. Once you've done that, you can create this copy shareable link. You can look at other options. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make this public or I have another video that I'll show you on how to upload directly from Google Drive to the discussion board, or how you can publish it directly to YouTube. And that's my preferred method because I think it's just easier to manage, but you can definitely do it through Google as well. You can also use this embed code, which I'll show you in another video. And that's basically it. That's how you're gonna use the Screencast software. Now it is possible you may have decided, I didn't do well with this one, go ahead and delete it and give it another shot.
you can see I've got a wide variety of ones here that I've used for Screencastify. It's a really cool program and I will show you in class how there are other tutorials so that you can help yourself uh, when you're working on this.